Hi friends, this is Eka. Today we will see one of the important Python module that is subprocess. Subprocess is used whenever you wanted to run any external operating system command and that you wanted to manipulate output later. Subprocess module allow you to spawn new process, connect to their input output error pipe often and it will return the written code. For example, we will see df -h. So df -h, it will return the mount point size used Uh, in the uh, subprocess, we will use one of the important class that is popen. If you know the popen, you don't need to remember any other class. So let's code cmd equal to df minus h subprocess dot popen cmd cell equal to true. That means you wanted to execute on cell interpreter. Let's run it. Python then script name. I don't have a Python, so Python three. So Python 3, you can see this is the similar idea of minus h command. In case like a command is not right, then it will give the error message. So problem with this, like uh, it's a simple example. So problem with that you, uh, most of the coding scenario, you wanted like uh, error to be handled. So let's assign to one of the variable p1 and p1 dot wait, that means it will wait for your sub process to complete if p1 dot return code equal to zero that means your command has uh, completed successfully if it is not success then return code will return other than zero let's see in unix operating system df minus h now let's see return code that is dollar question mark it's uh, it's written zero if the command is wrong then it should return anything other than zero so let's see it returned one that means not zero that is your command was not successful so it's compared return code equal to zero that means successful print command success else command failed let's execute once again python 3 and sub process you can see the command was wrong that's the reason at the end is message given command failed let's make the command correct and rerun it python 3 escape name you can see it has given output and the command is success now in in some scenario you don't want any output just you wanted to see like your command was successful or not so in that scenario you can use standard out equal to subprocess dot dev null standard error that is std error subprocess dot dev null i will explain about dev null so dev null is very special file for the unix operating system let's see it's a slash dev slash null so you can see there is nothing inside in the file so it is null file if you want to write inside anything in this file also it, it, it will become a null example echo this is new line redirect to dev null ideally it should have the content but if you cat it you can see this is null so this is very special file to for the operating system but for python we are using uh, it can be similar to this one that is the sub process dot dev null okay let's run the command it is just written the command success it didn't return the output let's make the command wrong and run it you can see the command is failed okay in most of the scenario you want uh, the output also like whatever the output is came and you want to manipulate later so in this scenario what you can do instead of null, you need to use the pipe so just replace Dave null with a pipe and instead of p wait we need to use the communicate so out err equal to p1 dot communicate so communicate will return two two values that is the standard out and standard error i have given just a variable name out and err you can change the variable name whatever you wanted to do print let's print out and uh, assign it format to the out and also print the error message in case if there is any error format to 
ERR and run it. You can see out is null and error is having some some value like df invalid option and all and int it says command field. Uh, let me make our command correct. Run it once again. You can see output has given the uh, some values and error is null and command success. Here the output is uh, given uh, with characters less n. So in Unix it's less n is new line. So to avoid this uh, our junk like output we can use one parameter universal line equal to true universal lines equal to true let's run it now you can see the output is coming as desired one and you can see there is no error and the command thank you friends if you like my video please subscribe and share and don't forget to comment it if you wanted to know anything more about python